Hello, this is Ed Dulzer with the Process Technology Technical Support Team. I want to show you how to avoid the three most common causes of failure among electric immersion heaters. The first most common cause of failure is corrosion. This means that either the process chemical in the tank or some dragon chemical from a previous tank is reacting with the heater surface. The rate of corrosion is affected by many factors, including the concentration of the chemicals, the operating temperature of the bath, the surface temperature of the heaters, and the presence of any stray electrical currents. The corrosion will eat away the surface material of the heater, ultimately creating holes in the sheath. Once a hole is created, liquid can immediately get inside and cause an electrical path to the grounded sheath. This will trip a ground fault device, but if left to continue, it could eventually melt holes in the heater surface and blow the fuses or trip the main breaker or disconnect. The best way to avoid corrosion is to select a heater with a surface material that is resistant to the process chemical at any concentration and almost any temperature. As an example, let's take a look at a passivation tank. The process chemistry is nitric acid, which is used to passivate the surface of steel parts. Some customers may consider stainless steel heaters as suitable for a passivation tank because they expect the chemical will just passivate the metal. Also, the tank itself may be stainless steel. Unfortunately, there's a few key factors which can result in the passivation chemistry corroding the heater. First, when the heater is energized, the surface temperature of the heater is a lot hotter than the bulk liquid temperature. That higher temperature means there's more energy present on the surface of the heater, which could trigger or accelerate corrosion. Second is the time in the tank. Steel parts are only in the passivation bath for a short time, but the heater is in the tank all the time. When you put those two factors together, stainless steel may be subject to suffer corrosion over time. Process Technology recommends using a quartz or a fluoropolymer covered immersion heater for a passivation tank. Those materials are going to be resistant to the chemical at any concentration. When in doubt, refer to a solution guide such as the one shown here. This one's available on our website. You can simply look up the process chemicals and we will indicate the best heater material for the job. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, or you want to suggest a new topic for another instructional video, please contact our customer service team or visit our website at processtechnology.com.